A win is a win. A win is a win, man. I don't care what you're saying. A win is a win. Hello, everybody. I'm Zakaria, the ghostwriter, back again with another story. Obviously, storytelling is very close to my heart. It's going to be a long video. Authenticity is the key. Be authentic regardless. Tell your story. Own your story. If you don't, somebody will tell your story how they want to tell it. Now, you have to understand something. The more you are sharing stories online is the more you are exposed to different types of people. Those who love you and those who hate you. The more you are sharing your story, always remember this, is the more you are exposing yourself and giving information to those who doesn't want to see you doing good. But fortunately with me, I can always take it back to the 13th of August 1986 when God did what he do best the day my mom was giving birth to me and doctors have has to perform miracle in a theater so that this man can be born remember in theater and i was born and the world is a stage and i'm dancing until the end and one thing that i can tell you even at the end there are those who will say you know what zachariah man he was something else you know Zeke, he was this guy man he will tell stories you know he lived his life the way he wanted to live his life i can tell you he was a character yes my life is a movie i just have to play it with my best ability until the last breath and i'm doing that with storytelling the last thing that mom said you know before she will transcend to another space or to the world of my ancestors she was like saying my son i know you love traveling i know you love movies i know you love storytelling i'm giving you a green light go out there do what you love the most don't worry about what people are saying be you and that was a blessing from mom and that's why sometimes i'm this type of a guy who looks like i don't even follow rules and I can easily speak about everything. I can speak about stuff that you'll be like, oh my God, you cannot talk about this. Your enemies are watching. They're going to attack. No, they've been attacking since, you know, the 13th of August, 1986. I'm very aware of it. Sometimes we are in trouble simply because of we always playing defensive, not knowing that the battle has been won. Not knowing that God is handling the rest not knowing that our ancestors are handling the rest it's a spiritual warfare let me just tell you something let me tell you something when i talk about sometimes we are in a defensive mode not knowing that we are robbing ourselves this beautiful beautiful um joy that we can experience in life simply because of we keep on worrying about things that we cannot even change it's a spiritual warfare they will start fighting spiritually if they cannot hit you, they will start attacking you to your dreams because of they know that spiritual gifted people, they dream a lot. I see the majority of you guys making mistakes of going out there and sharing dreams on TikTok, on Facebook. You know, there's Facebook groups whereby you see people who are saying they can help you with dream interpretation. They can do a candle reading and stuff like that. You're quickly telling people what you have dreamt. That's what your ancestors or your angels told you or showed you. You are quick to tell people because of you are seeking answers and you're also seeking validation. I'm not seeking validation to anybody else. I know who I am. I know my people. And I know that even at the end, one thing that I'm not sure about is heaven, but I'm surely sure that I will be with my ancestors. That one I'm 100% sure wherever they are because of I know that i am who i am because of those who came before me i truly believe in god and i acknowledge those who came before me 
you have to make sure that you understand. Acknowledge those who came before me. In English, they call them ancestors. In my home language, they call them badimu. And even if I can, should I break it down? The difference between badimu, badingwana, limudimu. God, the Almighty, gods, and ancestors. I'll make a video breaking it down for people so that they can understand. Sometimes things get lost in translation. Man, they, 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 this English thing, that's where things are falling apart and we are getting lost because of we don't understand certain stuff. And both, Mudimu, Badimu, Miringwana, are all written in the Bible. And both, we all have them in my mother tongue, Sepedi. But we get confused because of somebody will come from another country screaming and telling us about the name of Jesus and we are missing the point and we get lost. Where was I? When I was saying I know that when it's all said and done, I will be with, with my ancestors. Definitely sure. We don't know if maybe there will be a waiting period for the judgment day when we are going to all be in front of God the Almighty and everybody will be given if any opportunity of going to heaven and hell. We don't know about that. We're just speaking based on what the Bible is saying. But what I'm telling you that definitely sure will be with those who came before me. It's a guarantee that one. Because of there are so many people who spend years and years trying to connect with their people. I'm one of the blessed ones who is with his people. And I don't have to... I don't have to spend a crazy amount of money trying to hear what my ancestors are saying because of things that they're telling me, things that they're showing me, I write them down and I live by those dreams. I live by those prophecies that I was given back in the days. They are still happening till this day. That's why I keep on sharing stories and I'll always keep on going back and referencing what happened before. And speaking of dreams, as I was saying, some people don't understand. They go to these Facebook places and they go to TikTok and they're asking for dream interpretation, not knowing that they're giving away the road map of where they're going and stuff that they're supposed to do. Obviously, people of the dark, they start attacking you in that dreamland. So that now you start seeing things that looks like your ancestors are showing you and you follow what you think is right. By taking the wrong path, you end up getting straight to the trap. So if you are winning that battle whereby now you understand who you are, you eat what you're supposed to eat. You avoid eating things that you're not supposed to, to eat. That's why food is important. Now you can scan dreams you can analyze dreams you can understand that not this one i have to put it aside this is the one that i should you you know follow this one i shouldn't follow because they attack you in the dream realm i have to say that it's a spiritual warfare and if you're winning that battle and you're not falling to the trap now they start recruiting family members family members will start saying certain stuff about you i think you have seen a lot of the majority of people who are traditional healers, the majority of people who are powerful spiritual healers, whereby you hear certain family members accusing them of doing dark things. Oh, and now we know you are this and that. You have heard that several times. Because of now, certain family members are used by the enemies so that they can fight you. And if that doesn't happen then they move a step closer whereby they find the one that you love the most to be closer to you to be softer and to keep on giving you those type of stuff in the family ceremonies whereby you're chilling you're like those other ones i don't trust them because of they accuse me of this and that but this one is closer to me i can trust this one not knowing that the one that you trust the most is the one that they're going to give that person whatever that they're giving and you will eat with the open heart simply because of you're like, ah, this one I trust, not knowing that they already got to this one next to you. So once you also avoid that trap, 
Now, the next stage now, they start using women. Many spiritual gifted people or men fell because of the queen next to them. Once the queen is compromised, the kingdom will perish. There is absolutely no way the king can prosper if the queen is being compromised. That's why in the game of chess, those who are not familiar with the chessboard, who doesn't understand how moves are made, how to think ahead is, you know, been strategically placed, they do everything in their power to protect the queen. And once the queen is gone, the kingdom fall. It's going to be a checkmate. But because of the doing everything to protect the queen, they end up sacrificing <clears throat> sorry, the bishop, the castle, pawns, the horses, which are supposed to be there going to war on their behalf. The castles are the walls which are supposed to be there. You know, when I'm talking about these pieces, you can think about when I talk about the bishop is the religion, what they believe in. When I talk about the castle is the building, the structure of where they're staying now. They neglect the house. When you talk about the pawn, is their children. When we talk about horses, you know, it's the weapon that they're using to go to war. If this person is a praying person, they know that they have to go to the mountain. They have to go to the river. Now, once they are focusing on the queen, they neglect everything. They look deep into the queen, try everything in their power to protect the queen, not knowing that once the queen is compromised, it's a checkmate. You don't have a castle, a place that you can call home anymore. You don't have your bishop who will be counseling you spiritually so that you will understand what God is saying. You don't have the horses which are there to fight battles, to move and make sure that they're protecting you. Horses are your, your best friends, your, your business partners, your, your, your colleagues at work. Because of now you are focusing in deep into your queen. You, I don't like your friends. I don't like this and that. Ooh, these friends of yours, they're no longer there. They cannot call you and tell you that, look, man, there is a business opportunity and we think you're the right person to take this contract. Because of now, because of you focus a lot in your queen, you end up you know, um, compromising your best weapons to go to war. These are your soldiers. <sighs> Many kingdoms have fallen, man. Speaking of that, I'm going to speak about... These are, these are books, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm back to my studies after 20 years you know i am currently collecting all these other certificates because of uh, the game of life is rigged you have to find a way to win it doesn't matter how smart you are if you're smart but your intellect is working against you you are effed You'll be that guy, everybody will be like, this guy is smart, but why is he poor? This guy is smart, why is he not driving? Why is he not achieving this type of stuff? Because of your intellect is working against you. So you need to find certain ways so that you can get into the rigged system. I think I'll make part two of the video talking about these things. Let me tell you a story because I love storytelling as I was talking about the queen, right? Many kingdoms fell because of many men focused on putting everything to the queen. They forgot to make great moves so that they can end up winning the game in the chessboard and they end up being checkmate. The way they lose so bad. And remember, the king can only make one step, but the queen can move with different. If you know chess, you know chess, and you understand exactly what I'm saying. The, the king has been through a lot, and that's why it cannot move that faster than other, other pieces. I remember, you know, 
one day when I discovered that the other stages of spiritual warfare, from spiritual warfare uh, to the, the dream realm, has been has been fought that 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 war and it's been won several times because of I understood that certain dreams that I see, I shouldn't even you know dive deep into them. I just write them down and I look at them like this one is not the one. Let me put it on the side. This one. There are certain dreams that when I dream it, I wake up early in the morning or at night, I record them immediately or I write them in my book. I have a book that I started writing my dreams from 2004. Every time I'm confused with anything, I go back to the book and I read the book and I get answers, obviously, because of back in the days I was told that na kuetlang profeta. We will talk to you arkablalwena direct kadipono, which is one of my gift that i was not even aware of you know our uh, direct translation is when i was told that you know in future i am not going to be one of those guys who will be every day seeking spirit you know spiritual wisdom or seeking for prophecies to different prophets you know god is going to show me these things via dreams and uh, one thing that i've been neglecting a lot i was not even paying attention is the ability to see patterns you know it's one of my strongest points and I was not even paying too much attention to, you know, recently I sat down and I realized that when people kept on telling me back in the days that when I, you are not supposed to be poor, the way we look at you, you have everything that you need, man. You know, within 30 days, you can have everything. We see a lot of money. We see this, we see that. And I was so stressed because of I didn't understand what they were saying because I was trying everything in my power, but I was not reaching what they say they see when they see me. And I realized that, it's because of I'm neglecting one thing. It's my gift. The ability to read patterns and understand certain moves. And I've been talking to people and telling people, the way I see things, this is going to happen. The way I see things, this is going to happen. And everything is happening exactly that way. But because of I didn't know better, I thought every person who has a gift... You know, a spiritual gift must be like these other people that we see them crying, the ones that we see them burping, the ones that we see them jumping, they're all over the floor, they're walking around and they're screaming and talking to people and taking people and telling them that God says one, two, three, four. I didn't know that spirituality has different levels and it has, you know, different stages. And also once you tap into a certain dimension, it's, it's a different one whereby you know, you are in a space whereby you're asking yourself, is it important to every day see things that are happening in people's life and prophesying them and giving them solution and helping them with everything that they need while you are struggling, you don't even know where to go, what to do, or is it important for you to see stuff which are happening exactly to your life and find solutions which are needed in your life. And I was like, I'm blessed, man, because of I see where I have to go and I can even see if I'm going to get into trouble and I can even see if I have to avoid certain stuff. And obviously there are certain people who will sit down and look at me and say, oh, aha, no, oh this one thinks he's better, but they don't know what I know. They don't see what I see. You know, and it's not my fault that people cannot see what I see. It's my gift. It's my vision that I see. I don't have to explain it to everybody. I think it's a blessing because people spend amounts of money trying to find solutions to their lives, trying to know the future. But I was just so blessed in a way that I can see certain stuff and understand exactly what is going on.